Welcome to the topic Microbiological Analysis of Milk. We will be discussing various microbiological quality control analysis of milk in this session. As we know, milk is a nutritious fluid secreted by mammals for the nourishment of their young ones. We human beings use milk from various animals as a nutritious food. As milk undergoes various processes from collection, transport, processing and storage till it reaches the consumer as a nutritional food. It is highly susceptible to microbial contamination and growth. During all these activities, the microbial load of milk increases. Since milk contains 70 to 90% of water and it is highly nutritious with fat, proteins, carbohydrates, minerals, etc., it is highly prone to microbial growth and thus Milk requires high quality maintenance and testing standards. Various analysis of milk are performed to ensure its quality. The main among them is the platform test or milk reception test which are performed immediately during raw milk collection or reception. These are the rapid quality control tests or organoleptic analysis and these tests enable the milk of inferior or questionable quality to be screened out before it is mixed with the bulk milk during milk collection and reception. These tests are of crucial importance because one single lot of poor quality milk can spoil the rest of the milk when it is mixed with. Generally, the platform test do not directly involve laboratory analysis of milk samples, but in suspected cases of milk contamination, a sample of milk may be taken to the laboratory for further analysis and if the milk sample does not pass the quality test, it should be rejected. The generally performed platform tests are lactometer test, organoleptic analysis, cloton boiling test, alcohol test, 10 minute research urine test, etc. Further, the microbiological quality control test of milk can be divided into two direct or quantitative test and indirect or qualitative test. The direct test or quantitative test are helpful for assessment of the actual number of bacteria present in milk. These are generally done by microscopic examination or by enumeration of the colonies formed by viable cells of bacteria by standard plate count etc. The qualitative or indirect methods. These tests assess the microbiological quality of milk based on the metabolic activity of the microorganisms present in milk. Examples are dye reduction methods such as MBRT methylene blue reduction test resource or interest, etc. Coming to the various quality control tests for milk, there are lactometer test, organoleptic test, temperature, determination of temperature, determination of pH, cloton boiling test, alcohol test, test for the acidity of milk, sediment test, 10 minute resource or test, alizarin alcohol test, direct microscopic count, methylene blue reduction test, alkaline phosphatase test, one hour resazurin reduction test, standard plate count of milk, coliform count, enumeration of other types of bacteria, enumeration of yeast and mold etc. These are the quality control tests for milk. We will discuss the first 11 analysis now in this session. The rest of the test will be discussed in the next video. Coming to the first test, lactometer test. If the milk appears too thin and watery during organoleptic inspections, it is suspected that milk contains added water. The lactometer test helps us to determine the adulteration of milk 
with added water. This test is based on the fact that specific gravity of whole milk, skim milk and water are different. Next is the organoleptic test. This includes judging the quality of milk by its taste and smell and this test requires considerable, considerable skill which could be acquired by practice only. An experienced person can pick out bad milk samples accurately. The next is the measurement of temperature. The temperature of milk is measured by using a standard thermometer. The next is the determination of pH. The pH value or the hydrogen ion concentration gives a measure of the acidity of milk. The pH of normal milk ranges from 6.6 .6 to 6.8. The pH of milk can be determined rapidly by using pH indicator strips. Reduced pH value will be due to the development of acidity while higher or alkaline pH indicates that the animal from which the milk was obtained is suffering from mastitis. A reduced or a higher value pH indicates a bad quality milk. The next is the Croton boiling test. This is used as a rapid platform test for milk for testing increased acidity of milk. This cube test help us to find out the suitability of milk for pasteurization, boiling etc. for heating treatments. This test is performed by heating a small amount of milk in a test tube over a flame or by immersing in boiling water, wa water bath for 5 minutes. Heating will precipitate proteins of the milk if the milk is sour or acidic. If the side of the test tube and the film of milk shows any precipitated milk particles or clothes, it indicates a positive cloton boiling test which further indicates that the milk has a developed acidity above 0.17%. Such milk should be rejected or handled separately since it will get curdled during heat processing. If no coagulation occurs after heating, it means a negative cloton boiling test and it indicates that the milk is of good quality and can stand heating operations such as pasteurization. The next is the alcohol test. This is a rapid assessment test for the stability of milk to heat processing. The alcohol test indicates the mineral balance of milk. This test aids in detecting abnormal milk such as colostrum or milk from animals in late lactation or milk from animals suffering from mastitis etc. This test is based on the fact that the proteins in milk when the milk is sore due to lactic acid formation by bacteria then the proteins in the milk will undergo precipitation in the presence of alcohol. If the mixing of equal quantities of milk and alcohol in a test tube results in the coagulation of proteins that is if there is a presence of a flake or clot it indicates that the milk is sore and is not fit for any processes where heating is involved. For example, in the case of pasteurization, the milk is not fit for pasteurization. A negative test indicates good quality, good quality of milk and also the heat stability of the milk sample is easily understood. Next is test for the acidity of milk. The titrable acidity of milk is estimated to ascertain its keeping quality and heat stability. This test measures the amount of alkali that is sodium hydroxide required to change pH of milk from its initial value to a pH value of 8.33. This is done as a titration using the indicator phenophthalene. The titrable acidity is calculated as lactic acid per 100 ml of milk which is equal to 0.9 Vn where 
V is the volume in ml of the standard sodium hydroxide solution required for titration of 10 ml of milk sample. And, and N is the normality of the standard sodium hydroxide solution. The normal range of acidity of milk varies from 0.1 to 0.17 percentage lactic acid. Any value in excess of 0.17 percentage is considered as the developed lactic acid. Next is the sediment test. This reveals the extent to which visible insoluble matter is present in the milk. This is a simple, rapid and quantitative measurement that indicates the cleanliness of milk. The test is carried out by allowing a measured quantity of milk to pass through a filter disc and observing the sediment left in the filter by comparing it with standards. The presence of appreciable amounts of sediment in milk indicates careless or insanitary dairy farm practice. However, the lack of sediment is not always indicative of ideal conditions since visible sediment may be readily removed by straining at the dairy farm. Next is the 10 minute resasurin test. Resasurin is an oxidation reduction indicator which is blue in the oxidized stage and upon reduction it will first turn irreversibly into a pink compound resorufin and then reversibly into the colorless dihydrorisorufin. The reduction may be due to metabolic activity by bacterial cells or other, other cells such as leukocytes which may be present in mastitis milk. The reduction from resasurin which is blue in color to risorufin which is pink in color in a milk sample can be matched with standard color disc in a comparator. The rate of reduction of risasurin is governed by the extent of bacterial activity in milk or it denotes the extent of leukocytic cells. The leukocytic cells are present in milk where the animal have the mastitis condition. 10 ml milk sample will be mixed with 1 ml risasurin solution and it will be mixed by inverting the tube. Then the tube will be placed in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. After the incubation, using a comparator and a standard risasurin disc, the disc reading of the sample will be noted. Standard risasurin disc reading values are given in the table. Resasurin disc reading of 6, 5 or 4 indicate a good milk sample, good quality of milk. 3.5 to 1 indicates doubtful quality and a reading of 0.5 to 0 indicates bad quality of milk. Next is the alisarin alcohol test. The stability of milk to alcohol or high temperature is affected by the developed acidity or seed curdling as a result of bacterial growth, disturbance in the normal salt balance in the milk, and abnormal chemical composition of the milk as in colostrum, late lactation, or mastitis milks. The alcohol test is used to assess the stability of milk to heat processing. The addition of alizarin along with alcohol helps to find out whether the milk is acidic or alkaline. For this test, 5 ml of milk is mixed with equal quantity of alizarin alcohol solution in a test tube by inverting the tube several times. The color of the mixture and the presence of flakes or clothes and the size of the flakes will be observed. The presence of flakes or clothes indicates poor heat stability and unsatisfactory quality of milk as can be seen from the table. Next is the direct microscopic count. This is a quantitative test to assess the microbiological quality of milk by counting the actual number of bacteria present in milk. This consists of examining stained films of a measured volume of milk under a compound microscope. Generally, 0.01 ml of the milk 
will be spread on a glass slide over an area of 1 square centimeter. The number of bacteria in different microscopic fields will be counted and it will be used to calculate the number of bacteria per 1 ml of the milk sample. Since the number of microscopic fields occurring in 1 square centimeter area of the smear will vary with different microscopes, we use a calculation using a microscopic factor to determine the number of bacteria per ml of milk. The microscopic factor is calculated as follows. Area of smear divided by area of microscopic field multiplied by volume of milk where R is the radius of the microscopic field which varies with different microscopes and lenses. This method is not suitable for the examination of pasteurized milk since dead cells are also counted in this method. For this test, 0.01 ml milk will be spread evenly over 1 cm square area marked in a glass slide. The smear will be dried and stained using Newman's stain for 1 minute. The tetrachloroethane in the stain dissolves the milk fat globules. Ethyl alcohol fixes the smear and methylene blue stains the microbial cells. After staining, the smear will be observed under oil emission objective. Any isolated single cell, pair of cells or clump of cells will be counted as a clump. The field for counting are selected at random. The number of fields to be counted depends upon the number of cells per field. The average number of clumps per field will be multiplied by the microscopic factor to obtain the direct microscopic count per ml of milk. Grading of milk based on direct microscopic count is given in the table. A microbial count less than 5 lakh indicates good quality milk. 5 lakh to 40 lakhs of microorganisms indicate fair quality of milk. A count between 40 lakh to 200 lakhs indicate poor quality of milk. And if the count is over 200 lakhs, it indicates very poor quality of the milk. We can also assume the source of contamination of the milk using the results of direct microscopic count. The presence of cocci and rods in clumps and patches indicates the improperly cleaned milk utensils used for the milk processing. Excessive numbers of road shaped bacteria and spores indicate the exposure of milk to dust and dirt. Large numbers of cocci in pairs and short chains means improper cooling of the milk. Large numbers of leukocyte cells together with long chains of cocci in the milk sample indicates mastitis infection of the animal. So we discussed various tests such as lactometer test, organoleptic test, determination of temperature and pH, cloton boiling test, alcohol test, test for the acidity of milk, sediment test, 10 minute resazurin test, alizarin alcohol test and direct microscopic count. We will discuss the rest of the milk quality analysis in the next session. Thank you so much for listening.